So as you guys have probably seen on the channel in the last couple weeks, I posted a good amount of Fortnite montages. But if you notice, they're more beginner focused and just kind of based around how you can just get off the ground in terms of editing montages. But today I figured it would be great if I could show you guys how to edit a montage, but show almost an advanced look at this it. This would be good for those who actually watch the beginner guides and feel like they're ready for that next step. And this video is that next step. So if you guys do enjoy, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All of the free presets used in this video will be down below in the description. Links to everything will be down below. And I quickly want to talk about my editing pack so if you guys haven't seen already i have this insane all-in-one five dollar editing pack that i released quite a while ago but it's still really relevant now for the low price of five dollars i'll quickly show you a tour in a second of everything i have in here but we got project files after effects presets davinci presets premiere pro vegas sound effects project files motion graphics color correction practice clips that i use in my own montages render settings and it's compatible with every single software imaginable and we can see these are different screenshots from the pack itself and the effects in there and then coming to the pack it's all in google drive so we can see that this is literally everything featured in it um but there dude there's just so many stuff in here like for example after effects presets we got all of these davinci we have all of these in here and then dude it's just insane it's only five dollars literally the price of a mcdonald's cheeseburger but if you guys are interested in that make sure to go check that out in the top of the description it's gonna be only five dollars but with all that being said let's get right into the tutorial all right so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna let davinci resolve actually load up and do its thing and then from there we're gonna do advanced editing montage tutorial literally name it whatever you want now from there we're going to go to the edit tab here go up here to file project settings change our frame rate from 24 to 60 and we're just going to press save that's literally how we initialize now it. from there what we're going to do is we're going to find our clips that we're going to be using and i'm going to be using these three clips here i've used these in all of my tutorials and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our music and we're going to find whatever song we want to use so i'm going to use the 637 godwin song now the first step of this is actually going to be syncing the song with the clips so what we're going to do is we're going to trim our song down we're going to find our first beat drop which is very here and we're gonna add a marker by pressing M and then we can see this is also gonna be a kill here and then this is also gonna be a kill here now what I'm gonna do after that is I'm just gonna cut it down because it's not gonna go longer than that and now what we're gonna be doing is looking for transition points I touched on transition points in last video but I didn't really go in depth about why you actually need transition points or anything like that but it's pretty much we're gonna be putting a marker a secondary marker on that little clap after the beat so we can see right here. So we're going to add a marker on the layer there by pressing M on our keyboard. And that's literally how we add transition points. So we're going to be transitioning between those points. And that's pretty much that. So starting off, we're going to double click on the first clip we want to use for our intro. We're going to scroll through here all the way till we get to about the kill. Press this before the kill. Press this after the kill. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to where the kill is. Find the first frame that has the pellets. And we're going to press M to add a marker. Now what we're going to do quickly is bring this down a level. And we're just going to line up that marker on the clip. The marker on the song. Drag it out. And that's how we do that. And then coming over here, what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing before the kill, after the kill. We're going to find the frame that has the pellet. So right here, add our marker, line it up, drag on the right, drag on the left. And then same thing, double click on this, find our kill before and after. And we're going to go to the frame that has the pellets, add a marker, drag that on. And just like that, we are looking great. So. Perfect. Completely synced up. That's all we could ever ask for. Now, heading into time remapping, super simple. Right click on your clip, unlink it, press B for blade tool so you can cut after the kill. So we're going to cut on the kill. Then we're going to change this to like 60 ish is normally good. Drag it down. And that's pretty much how we do that. Now, unlinking this, we're going to fix this. Come to the kill again. Go here, read time controls. You can literally just go to change speed and change it to 50. Or what you can do is just drag it from the top here. So I'm just going to change it to 60 just like that. Unlink. We're just going to get rid of these. And if you want it to be super smooth, we can see it gets pretty framey like here. So we can come down here, go to read time scaling, optical flow. We can see that adds like a smooth. If you guys want that, you can do that. And then last one, cut on the kill, read time controls, change it to 60, cut it down, read time controls optimal. That's literally how you do that. So that is pretty much all of our time remapping and that done. So now it's time to add effects. Now starting off with impacts, I'm going to quickly show you. You're going to add an adjustment clip literally on the kill right here and then have it end right here. Now you can go in here, go into fusion. And what we're going to do is we are going to import the first impact preset that I have in the description, which is the clean impact distort RGB. So we're going to drag that in and we're going to disconnect it and connect it on the left, connect it on the right. Now let me quickly show you how you move these over. So come over here 
here, open the keyframe menu. We can see that it's a little crazy right now. It's because the keyframes aren't set. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to press this arrow button right here. We're going to actually drag all of these over and we're just going to kind of get these in the right ballpark area, bring them at least a little bit over because we can see these little lines here, the keyframes that we're looking for. All right. So we can see there's a lot of stuff out of whack here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring these ones over. We need to actually have these ones here. We're going to bring this one in the range, bring this one in the range. This one's a bit out of the range now. So we're going to bring it. So we're going to bring them over just like that. Now we're going to press the zoom in. Now we could do each one individually. So starting off, make sure our things at the very beginning of the clip, bring these over. So this one disappears and we can't see it. Now we can expand all of these, select these two here, line it up, line up the first frame with the playhead. Same thing with this last one. And we can see that our impact is looking perfect now. So that's our impact there. We're going to change our playback to quarter. That's all there is to it. It's looking great. And that's how we do that. Now, if we wanted to drag that impact over, we could just press Alt and drag. And it's the same process with every single impact uh, that I have in the description. Just make sure you line up those presets properly. Now for buildups, let me quickly drag this up a layer. We're going to add our next adjustment clip. That's pretty much so we're going to have it span from slightly before to the actual where the kill is. Now we're going to go to clips here. Make sure we're selected on the previous adjustment clip. And we are going to drag in the opacity fade buildup, actually. And we're going to drag in the God build up shape. So we can just drag the same press shift. And we're going to do the same thing. Find our keyframes all the way down here. Drag them over. Press the arrow button to view them better. I guess you could say. Now we're going to line this up at the second last keyframe at the very end. So we can see it starts doing a bit of a pre-shake. And that's literally that. It looks perfect. And that's how you add impacts and build ups. And then if you wanted to, you ring this one till before. But you could use any of the presets that I have in the description as well. But that's pretty, I guess you could have it down like this. That's pretty much. That's literally how you do that. It's super, super simple. Now I'm going to move on to transitions. Now for transitions, it's super easy. We're just going to drag on an adjustment clip. And I have a ton of transitions in my editing pack. If you want to have access to all of them, go check that out. Uh, we're going to add our adjustment clip between the two clips on our transition point. See, that's why it was important. And we're going to go here to wherever we have our transitions downloaded to. Let's say swipe right. Drag that in. Press shift on our thing. Have it connected. Now press the arrow key. Select these. Bring them all over. Zoom in. Bring them all over. Zoom in. And we're to find that third keyframe add a marker we're going to add that marker or line that marker up there you go that's the transition done and if we wanted to apply that same transition let's say to that clip that simple that's all you need to do it's the same process for literally everything and that's pretty much how you add transitions itself now in terms of color correction this is gonna be the final step all you got to do for this is come into our color menu here it gives you a ton of options in terms of like saturation all that to color correct clips that are super bland looking to me literally you'll change the saturation to 75 from 50 and then what i'll also do is i'll go to the color boost and change it by 0.25 and that'll do it for me because we can literally see dude, just the difference between this and this it's like night and day it's ridiculous and if we were to come into this clip even change our saturation to 70 and change this color boost to 0.25 it's a huge difference it's 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 massive but that's pretty much how you do that and if you were to be done with your montage for example you can come here to the rocket ship name it sample montage final go to browse change wherever you want to save it to so be youtube videos for example press add to render queue and then you would let it render out and that is pretty much how you do that but if you guys did enjoy you learned something make sure to like comment subscribe go check out my five dollar editing pack down below in the description all the free presets will also be down there so make sure to go check those out as well but i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys in a new video on the channel. Peace out.